Hey everybody and welcome to my December beauty favorites for 2014. I was undecided as to whether or not I was going to do a December favorites or just do a kind of year as a whole 2014 favorites. Um, I did that I think the past two years or so. I'll link it down below if you want to see my favorite products for the whole year but I was kind of undecided and I thought you know what I do have some things I'm loving in December so I'm going to share them with you guys and then I'll work on a kind of whole year favorites video coming up soon let me know if you want to see that and then January favorites should also be um pretty exciting because I've got lots of new things over Christmas, lots of things I'm trying out, but I've only had them for a week or so, so I didn't want to include them in this video. So yeah, lots of new things happening, so I thought I'd share with you some of my favorites. Starting in no particular order, the first product is a brow product that I've absolutely fallen in love with. It's from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and it's the Dip Brow Pomade, and the color I have is taupe. So that's what it looks like there. Basically it's like a whip gel. Ignore my nails, by the way, they are horrendous. But I just take an angled brush, and it's kind of, it reminds me of like gel eyeliner a little bit, just not as pigmented. Um, you can definitely build up this color if, I, if I'm too heavy handed with my brush, my brows end up too dark. But I'm wearing it today, and it just makes it so easy to fill in the brows, and then it kind of holds them in place because it's kind of gel like as well, and it's just quick and easy. I just just made my brow routine a lot faster and I feel like they look a lot nicer so that is the first favorite the next favorite I got a few of these products off of Vitacost and this one's my favorite it's the Desert Essence Coconut Body Wash I got a whole bunch of products from this line mostly in coconut because I love coconut and uh, like shampoos and conditioners and things like that. Surprisingly they weren't that great. Um, I think I'll definitely talk about them in an upcoming empties video but the body wash I really have been loving. It has that true pure coconut scent. Um, it's not creamy so if you're looking for a creamy body wash this is definitely not one for you but it lathers really really well. It doesn't break me out at all. It doesn't leave any residue or dry me out so really I just like the scent so that's a favorite. The next is a new BB cream, or I guess CC cream. This is the brand Super Goop, and this has amazing coverage. It doesn't get uh, oily or shiny on me. It's very long lasting. Uh, it blends in super easy. It's definitely a favorite. The only kind of drawback is that I have the color light to medium, and I believe it's a shade lighter than this, and because I am so darn pale right now, I should have got the lighter one. But I didn't return it uh, mainly because I'm going to Mexico in two weeks, so I know I'll get use out of it then. And um, right now when I'm pale, I can mix it with lighter foundations and it works out. And then of course once summer comes around, I'm sure I'll be using this like religiously. So, But this is a really great full coverage or medium to full coverage CC cream, so I'm loving that. The next is kind of two products that I rediscovered when I was moving because I'm going through all my products and I'm like, oh my goodness, I love you, I miss you. This is from Sephora, it's the a Jumbo Eye Crayon. And the color of this is beige and it's very simple. It's just a pretty beige color, but it doesn't have too much glitter in it. It's just straight up kind of metallic. Um, they blend really easily, they don't crease and they're super long lasting so it's just a really easy natural eyeshadow color that works really well and the second is a blush this is the the balm in stain blush i've spoken about this before it's a blush that um you put on like a powder and it also stains your cheeks so it's super long lasting and the color is gorgeous i think it's argyle is this color yeah argyle so it's like really pretty baby doll pink a little goes a long way and like I said it stays on all day so for days where I've had lots of Christmas parties and things happening I can put this on and know that it's not going anywhere. The last product is a lip product. Um, this is from Bite Beauty and I spoke about this in a haul. It's the color Sierra. I don't think I actually mentioned the color when I spoke about it in the haul. I was looking back on the video and I, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if it will focus. Very tiny printing. Oh man, I think it's still too tiny to read. But I'll link it down below, and it's S-Y-R-A-H is the color. It's a gorgeous nude peach color lip pencil. The thing about Bite Beauty is that um, it's all food grade, so if you end up consuming it, it's not like you're consuming weird chemicals, it's uh, all food grade. So there's the color there. I'm wearing it right now with a nude gloss on top, but it's just 
a really pretty nude with a little bit of color so you don't look quite dead. So I'm loving that. I think I'll love it even more in the summertime. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my December favorites. Like I said, there's a lot more to come in January. And let me know in a comment down below if you want to see that yearly favorites, the things I've been loving all year in 2014. I hope you guys all had a fabulous Christmas and are going to have a happy new year. This might go up after New Year's. Not sure. So I hope you had a happy new year if it did. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.